Hey everyone, how you doing today? It is me, David, coming to you from my whiskey den here in central Ohio. No, I am not tasting any of these or drinking any of these for this video. Um, we're going to do a little rant. Now, I grew up in Jersey, <laughs> lived in Jersey for my first 37 years of life. And uh, actually, I left on my 38th birthday to travel to California to marry my beautiful wife. But... Anywho, um, if it's something we Jerseyans like to do, besides eat pizza, good Jersey pizza, by the way, you know, New York style, but hey, it's Jersey. Or, you know, maybe bacon, egg, and cheese on a bagel, or maybe some Taylor ham on a bagel, or a hard roll with but okay, <laughs> hard roll with butter is... Yeah, baby, I gotta get one in. Um, <laughs> besides that, what's our favorite thing to do? It's to rant about things and complain about things. So, this is unscripted. I'm kind of just doing this off the top of my head. A true rant, all right? So, um, why do I have these six bourbons up here in front of me on the bar top? Well, it's because these six bourbons are from the Buffalo Trace Distillery, and um, they're very sought after. Uh, people here in Ohio, I'm going to speak from an Ohio perspective. People here in Ohio will, once they find out the liquor store or supermarket, whatever, liquor department, is getting any of these in on their delivery, because we've got this website, OHLQ website, that um, they post real-time inventory, but I, yeah, or maybe they got connections with people that work at the liquor department in, or these stores, I don't know. But once they find out any, most any of these are hitting that store, because these are allocated, they will camp out for yes buffalo trace you folks in the west <laughs> i lived out west i know you can find buffalo trace bourbon it's available readily available i was out there some time ago there's shelves of this stuff but here in ohio they they might these stores might get a case a box of buffalo trace once in a while um, so it's, it, this is sought after here in Ohio. <clears throat> um, speaking of the West, California, um, you might get, you may pay 40 bucks for Eagle Rare, which is basically MSRP. You might never see Taylor. If you do, it might be a couple of hundred bucks, but I have seen Weller Special Reserve, $23 here in Ohio, $200 in Northern California. Well, or Antique 107, $50 here. I feel like I'm on an infomercial. $50 here, but price in, in uh, California was 300 bills. Three bills. <laughs> $300. And then um, Blanton's, about, I think, around 60 bucks MSRP here. But um, in Colorado, I saw it for $300 for a bottle. Um are these bourbons worth the hype? Are they worth the chase? Are they worth camping out for? Um, no. <laughs> My opinion is no. Um, and I did present this as a question on the um, Central Ohio Bourbon Enthusiast page recently on Facebook. And general consensus is also a no. Um, apparently, now... I am a bit of a pop culture nerd and geek, but I'm not up on a lot of the current stuff. So um, I guess Blanton's has been featured on uh, that the show Yellowstone, <clears throat> which I don't know why they wouldn't feature Yellowstone bourbon. There is a bourbon called Yellowstone. And uh, apparently in the John Wick movies or one of the John Wick movies, um, Ted Theodore Logan, I'm sorry, Keanu Reeves <laughs> enjoys drinking Blanton's. So that's an influence on that popularity. 
Um, Weller. I mean, there's there's the Pappy Van Winkle. I made a poor man's Pappy. I got a video on that, which um, is another sought after bourbon out of Buffalo Trace. Pappy Van Winkle and Weller uses the same mash bill. Um, and apparently that's what has caused Weller to not only rise in price, but also be, you know, up in popularity. Now, it's interesting. I mentioned this is a $23 bottle nowadays, but back around 20, I think 2016, um, Buffalo Trace went with this current bottle style. But prior to that, in 26, let's just say 2016, this was about $17. Currently, I, like I said, this was this is $50. But back just a few years ago, this was a $20 bottle of bourbon. And then there's the 12 year, which I don't have, of Weller. And that was a $25 bottle. Um, currently, I think that's also $50. Colonel Taylor <clears throat> used to be Old Taylor, and um, that was a bottom shelf bourbon some years ago. Um, and then Eagle Rare, like I said, is about $35. And these are decent. Eagle Rare, I'm not crazy about. It's too it's bitter to me. I don't see what all the hype is on it. Um, but in any event, I think it's because the scarcity of the distribution on this, the output from the distillery makes this a little bit more scarce. And here in Ohio, they are allocated. I know um, when I went to Idaho, the the ones I got in Idaho were also allocated, but fortunately they are state run, so I got them in an MSRP. Um, but are they worth it? No, they're not. They're, Decent bourbons for the price. The MSRP on these bourbons is pretty spot on, in my opinion. Um, they they do live up to that MSRP price point, but are they worth the hunt? No, they are not. If you want something that's a little bit more readily available, um, you know, instead of the Blantons, if you happen to see this Ancient Ancient Age 10 Star, which is 90 proof. The Blanton's I think is like 92 proof, 93 proof on the Blanton's. Um, big difference be besides the proof is that Blanton's is a single barrel, but they actually are identical in taste. Uh, the other thing, I was recently in Kentucky and I believe they have done away with the Ancient Ancient Age brand name. I had seen down there Ancient Age 90 proof, which may be the replacement, so just be on the watch for that. And of course, regular Ancient Age 80 proof is, I'll put that there, <laughs> is an, also a excellent substitute. Um, to me, it's a little sweeter, it's a bit smoother. And you know, if you find that and you want to uh, do what I do, with, and I've done this on some videos, take a mason jar with wood chips, um, Jack Daniels wood chips, soak it for maybe a few days. The, the flavor will develop more and you'll get probably more of a Blanton's taste. I might do a video on that actually <laughs> um, at some point. Weller, I can't really find a really good substitute for Weller, however, Something, in my opinion, that comes close um, to the Antique 107 is Maker's 101, which is a little more mel on the mellow side. Um, it's a little bit lesser proof, but it's an adequate, in my opinion, adequate substitute. Buffalo Trace, I um, it's all, all the way over here. Well, hold on, let me get it. <clears throat> Hang on, hang on, where did I put it? There it is. Um, George Dickel, bourbon, not the Tennessee whiskey. Good substitute for that. 
um, similar flavor profile. I'll put these back here so as to not to block the stars of our show. Um, the George Dickel bourbon is a good substitute. And then um, really for me, the Eagle Rare. But, um, you know, McAfee's Benchmark. This is the 80 Proofer. Same mash bill as these three. So same mash bill. These three share the same mash bill. This is basically proof and aging is different. Um, but uh, they also have not just this 80 proof um, benchmark, but they've come out, but Buffalo Trace has come out with a full line of um, benchmark expressions, which I have not tried or obtained yet because they're really not available here in Ohio too much. But there's a full proof, a top floor. I believe there's a single barrel. I think there's a bottled and bond. Um, for anywhere between, this is like, I think, $11, and I think the most expensive is around $25. And I think there's six bottles in the series. So that should also be a good alternative to, um, you know, the comparable expressions of these. And I don't know why more available, but more available. <laughs> so there you go. A little bit of a rant a little bit of suggestions as far as what good substitutes would be for any of these hard to find Buffalo Trace uh, bourbons. Now, this is also done by Buffalo Trace as are these. Why these three are more readily available, I do not know, <laughs> but uh, there you go. So anyway, end of rant, story over. Um, again, if you see them, and you got the cash for them, and you've always wanted to try any of these six, go ahead. I mean, that's up to you. Are they worth searching out for, camping out for? Not in my opinion. They are nice to have in your collection. Just It's kind of a status thing, I guess. But um, they're nothing spectacular. And I will say my favorite out of these would be the Weller 107. If you're into weeded bourbons, it's a nice weeded bourbon um, selection, but it does taste a little hot at first. It does take time to mellow out. Um, so anyway, there you go. Um, until next time, it is me, David, coming to you from my whiskey den here in central Ohio. I hope your next pour is your best pour. We'll catch you soon, and thank you so much for watching. Hey everyone, if you like what you see, please like and subscribe so you can be notified of future videos as they drop. Thanks for watching.